think my first official diagnosis came when I was the, at the age of 10. It was really interesting because the more, the more psychiatrists I saw and the more therapists I saw and the more hospitals I went to, I started to collect them. And this doctor would say this and this doctor would say that and all of a sudden I was collecting them and it became an identity. I did the whole doctors and medication and therapy and specialists and that had some effect, minor, but the real thing that really made a difference was places like Nine Muses and Rebel Center and other places that saw me as a human being and people who saw me as a human being not as a diagnosis. If I wasn't in the psych unit, <laughs> I was here. Um, and it kind of became my full-time job to come to Nine Muses because that was part of my wellness. And if it was something as simple as if I got to Nine Muses, then it meant I got out of bed and it meant that I showered that day and it meant that I brushed my teeth and I got out of the house. And for me, that can be difficult sometimes. So Nine Muses became my wellness full-time job. So at Nine Muses, our uh, motto is recovery through the arts. Art allows me to do something with the thoughts that I have in my head that I'm not always able to communicate with words or that I communicate with words and all of a sudden people start getting scared. But if I paint it or I draw it or I write it or I create it, it's a little different because somehow it's tangible and people can see that. So art has become something that helps me to communicate what's going on with me. It's my interpretation and there's nothing wrong with it. And if this is what I want, you don't have to like it. Your Story segments brought to you in part by the Brunetti Foundation.